Another Sunday worship experience with Dr. Ruth Andrea Featherstone. I am coming live at you from the privacy of my home. Yes, I am. Thank you on, for joining me on this Sunday to worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness and also to worship him in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, he's the air I breathe. Mm. He's my daily bread. Yes, yes, he is. Thank you, Jesus. This is my fair I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. This is my daily bread. This is my day.
without the Lord and how many of you are desperate for the Lord I know I am hallelujah thank you Jesus ah yes Lord thank you Jesus ah hey our God is great <laughs> mm. thank you Jesus thank you Lord the splendor of the King Let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice. He wrapped himself in light, and darkness tries to hide. It trembles at his voice, it trembles at his voice. Great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great is our God. Age to age he stands in time is in his hand beginning in the end beginning in the end the God had three in one Father, Spirit and Son the lion in the lamb, the lion in the lamb. Oh, how great! Oh, sing with me. How great! For all will see. How great! How great! Come on and sing with me. 
Oh God, you are my everlasting friend. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 As I look back over my life, and I can truly say, if it had not been mm, for the Lord on my side, <laughs> where would I be? I was thinking about what happened to me when I was a child and I used to stay with my Aunt Tiny and her husband, Uncle Robert, and my cousin Sweet Tang, whose name is Pastor Mary now, and in the family because my mom, she was in and out of the hospital because during those days when I was young, she used to have bleeding ulcers that would keep her in the hospital for about at least 60 days, you know, at a time. And I guess I was like a really, 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 really small child, you know, think I know everything. Well, I know some things. I think I was about four or five and um, we were making cake or something. And I don't know what happened. I say my cousin burnt me, you see the burn mark there? But she said that I put my hand in the, my arm in the oven. And I'm like, Lord, have mercy. So I must have burned myself. That's her regulation. My regulation is that you try to burn me, sweet tank. But that's all right. We just call it a truce. You have your version. I have my version. Somewhere in the middle, guess what? It's the truth. And I was thinking about, but had not been for God on being on my side, where would I be? You know, he kept me from trouble. Yeah, I got in trouble, got out of trouble. Call on the name of the Lord. He answered prayers. And then one time I got burnt with the iron, a little bit older. And so instead of my mom taking me to the hospital, I got burned on his arm. You see a little burn mark there? <laughs> instead of mom taking me to the hospital, the Bible says, call for the elders of the church. So she picked up the phone and she called, I believe, Pastor Green at the time. And he prayed the prayer of faith. And mom didn't have to, have to take him to the hospital. But I do have a scar right here today by being burned. But I'm like, Lord, if you had not been on my side, whoo, Jesus, where would I be today? Man, I thank God I was brought up in a holiness church, brought up in a holiness home. Hey, hey. if you know this song at home, sing it. If it had not been Yeah. 
it had not been for God on my side, I would not be standing here today as I look back seven years ago when I was diagnosed with MRSA. And I still have MRSA in my sinus cavities. The doctors put me on vancomycin, which is the strongest antibiotics you can take. They call it a kidney killer because it will shut down your kidneys. Finagrin with codeine and Benadryl. I was hospitalized for three days, placed on a 5150 for three days, in a mental institution for three hours. I suffered an altered mental state, an acute renal failure, and I had a seizure on top of that. I should be dead, mm. sleeping in my grave, but God told death to behave. Hallelujah. 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 I thank God for a praying family. Hey, and family across the country was praying. Hallelujah. I remember my, they put the phone to my ear. And my beloved sister Sandy said, you can't go nowhere. She said, because we need you. So you got to live. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. She said, we need you. You can't, you can't leave here. And I was out of my mind. I was literally out of my mind. I had an altered mental state. Lord have mercy. But God brought me back from the brink of death. And that's why I praise him the way I do. Because I know if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I don't know where would I be. I could be dead sleeping in my grave. I could be like Alice in the Wonderland, lost and turned out. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me. And that's why I can say, I give myself away. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
you, Jesus. Ah, I give myself away to the Lord. Every day of my life, even when I'm asleep. Man, I mean, like, I worship the Lord in my sleep. I can sing a song while I'm dreaming. Wake up singing and crying. Because I'm, I'm in the presence of the Lord. I make up songs in my sleep. <laughs> ah, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I feel his presence all around me. How he watches over me. And he takes care of me daily. Wow, I remember I was at a grocery store. Or I was shopping somewhere and I was just singing a simple praise song. And this lady said, oh, you have a beautiful voice. I'm like, oh, thank you. I'm a singer. <laughs> She's like, no, baby, you're not a singer. You are a worshiper. I see the anointing of the Lord on your life. I was like, wow. When people recognize you as a worshiper, it's a lifestyle. And I thank God that no matter where I am, I can worship God. And I'm not ashamed. Like the song says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I've got too much behind me to let this world blind me. That's right. I am not ashamed of the gospel. I will declare Jesus is Lord as long as I live. Yes. And I love the Lord. Sing this song with me. Lolita and Latoya, all y'all, and Vanny Green.
high. Thank you, Jesus. Whew. We bless your name. We glorify your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Oh, because he's great. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship and we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. We lift our hands in worship and we bless your holy name. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, on this past week, my beloved cousin passed away, Lisa Morris, a young woman. I'm 58, and I believe she was 54, get ready to turn 55 on next month, but she passed away there in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania due to cancer and I just take comfort just to know that <clears throat> Jesus promised her a home over there yes Jesus promised Lisa Morris a home over there hallelujah and he also promised you too yeah There's a place in heaven prepared for me. 
Jesus did promise you a home over there. He said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it was not so, I would not tell you. I go to prepare a place for you. And where I am, you may be there too. Hallelujah. Thank God for the promises. Hey, that he has given us. That's right. Ah, this is an original song that I'm doing in public for the first time. It's called He Changed My Life. Ah, thank you, Jesus. I wrote this song back in the 90s when God gave me a 180 degree turn around. And it's called He Changed My Life. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank 
you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. that Jesus, he changed your life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And before I do my last number, I just want to thank all of those who have contributed to my ministry. Thank you for your gift of love. They are much appreciated. May God bless you richly. Hallelujah. May you lack nothing. May he, may he give you a hundred. No, may he give you a thousand returns on what you have contributed to this ministry. Thank you again. Let us pray. Mm. And Jesus taught his disciples, he said, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day 
our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, I just thank you for what's, first of all, for forgiving us for our sins and cleansing us from all unrighteousness, Father. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for everyone who is watching this worship service on this day. The Heavenly Father and those who will view it in the weeks to come. Father, I ask you to bless each and every one. In the name of Jesus, bless their household, dear God. In the name of Jesus, dear God, and I thank you, Lord, for meeting everyone's needs according to your riches and glory. For your Bible said, I will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ through Christ Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, for doing it. And I thank you, Lord, for continuing to protect all of us from danger, seen and unseen. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for doing it. I thank you, Lord, for canceling every assignment that the enemy has against us. For your word said that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up against us in judgment you shall condemn, for this is the heritage of your people, because we belong to thee, their God. And I just thank you, Lord, for your word. Your word is true as a lamp to our feet and a light unto our pathway. Father, I thank you, Lord, for healing those among us who are sick, who are infirmed, you know, Father, who are suffering from diabetes and heartaches and heart attacks and ear aches and back aches and kidney disease and broken bones, oh God. I thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for the word said, by his stripes, we are healed, dear God, and I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities, and by his stripes, Oh, God, by his stripes we are healed. So, Lord, we are claiming healing right now in the name of Jesus, dear God. We thank you, Lord, for delivering us from cancer, oh, God. We thank you, Lord, for being a mind regulator. You said, I will keep them in perfect peace. Hey, who mind has stayed on me because we trust thee. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for keeping our mind stayed on thee. In the name of Jesus, dear God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your peace that passes all understanding that rests through by within us. No matter what we go through, Lord, we have your peace to get us through because you will keep us, oh God, in the midst of the storm, in the midst of the rain, dear God, in the midst of the hailstones. God, you will keep us in the midst of it all because we got your peace and we're trusting and believing in you for your word said that you will never you will never leave us nor forsake us and lord i thank you lord for standing with us and being with us oh god and shielding us and protecting us oh god with troubles all around us oh god you be a fence around us Thank you, Lord, for keeping us from evil and hurt, harm, and danger, dear God. Hallelujah, because you are our shield. You are our banner. You are our protector, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for doing the good work in us, performing the good work. Hallelujah, you said you will perform until the end of time, dear God. Hallelujah, and I thank you, Lord, when we go astray, you call us back in, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, you sent your marriage to the backslider, dear God. And I thank you, Lord, for drawing us closer to thee. All we want is just a closer walk with thee, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let us walk with thee and talk with thee. And you tell us that we are your own, dear God. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Father, I pray. For the bereaved family who have lost their loved ones during this season of death, dear Heavenly Father. Keep the family. Hold them in your arms. In the name of Jesus, fill that void with your love, your peace, your joy, your happiness. And give them the spirit of contentment, oh God. In the name of Jesus, because Paul said, no matter what situation I find myself in, be ye content. Hallelujah, Father. Oh, yes, the pain hurts, the heartache, the heartache, oh God. But we know haha, Jesus died to take away all of that. He died to take away our sins. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for comforting the bereaved right now. 
Thank you, Lord. I pray for peace in the world, peace in America, dear God. Uh, bring us all together as one, because we're all Americans who were born on this soil. We are Americans. Uh, we were born in America. That makes us Americans. And I thank you, Lord, for protecting all the Americans around the world, oh God, in the name of Jesus, dear God the colored Americans and the non-colored Americans, dear God. I thank you for doing it, for protecting. I thank you, Lord, for bringing the Christian world together as one. Before Christ died, he prayed to you and he said, Father, make them one like you, are, like you and I are one. Make us one, Lord. There's separation in the church, dear God, not the body, but in the church building. We are divided. Bring us together as one. Teach us, O oh Lord, to be as one like you and your son as one. Teach us how to love each other through the eyes of Christ, O oh God. Through the eyes of Christ. Because we are Christians. And Christians doesn't hate Christians, there's no racism in Christianity. There's no hatred in Christianity. Like my mom said, I don't understand this new Christian today. I really don't understand it. There's so much hate. There's so much evil. There's so much destruction in the church. The COVID to come here, Lord, so we can get out of the church building, get into our homes, and spend time with our family and spend time with our friends to get to know each other all over again and to say hello to our neighbors. To know, Christ said, No, those who labor, who live, who work among you, we need to know each other. And Lord, I thank you, Lord. The Bible said, Let brotherly love. <laughs> continue let it continue dear god and father you know this election coming up in the name of jesus stop every evil act in the name of jesus dear god in the name of jesus, stop satan in his tracks his imps his pimps stop him in the tracks oh god put a shield about everyone who's going to the polls to vote in the name of Jesus, put a shield around them, dear God. Protect them on every hand and don't let no danger come upon them. Keep everybody who's going to the voting polls from evil. Father, in the name, let there be peace around the election time. Not only that, for the rest of the, for the, rest of the century, for the rest of our lives, let us live in peace and perfect harmony with one another, dear God. And Lord, I just thank you. For doing the good work in us. For calling us together. For spending time with you. For reading our word daily. For praising you in, in songs and hymns, dear God. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for this season. That I can draw closer to you. That we all can draw closer to you. Oh, thank you, Lord, for all that you've done for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Hey, hey. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hey, put your hands together there at the house. <laughs> Come on, Miss Lolita. Pink, Latoya, Manny Green, Providence Jackie. Come on. Tragedies are commonplace. All kind diseases, folks are slipping away.
bless you as you go about this week. May he continue to protect you from danger.